artist Gabi Lewin. You're also uh, one of the main organizers of this event. You've been planning this for quite some time. How long? Three years. Oh, <laughs> that's a long time. Yes. So, did it? Uh, how do you feel about this now? Excellent. I feel so excited. The I artists have arrived. They've arrived. They arrived. They started to arrive on the 16th of August, and they keep coming in. They keep streaming in until the 20th, 21st. I think we'll have everybody here, or at least everybody has arrived and checked in and started to work on site. Mm -hmm. um, very excited. I feel so blessed to be working with such amazing, wonderful, talented, excited, enthusiastic artists. You are a jewelry artist. Um, textile and textile jewelry. jewelry, yes. And uh, you will have your own vernissage, I believe, um, Tom, Tom and, and with Tama. Yes, Tama and I have an exhibition called Materia Linnea at the Stone School Gallery in Pontage du Yeah, and it's a mother-daughter, two-person show. Amazing. Yes. Um, I will follow up with you um, every time I come in. Okay. And I'm um, I'm really happy to have met you. I think you are amazing uh, uh -huh. artist you. and organizer. You've done a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and Tom, are you? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you are uh, the kind of like uh, the brain. Well, actually, no. It's Gabrielle is the brain. I'm I'm responsible really for the exhibition volé, and I'll be doing an installation, which I'm very happy, very happy to be part of the creation side of it. Uh, really, Gabby is the executive director, and it was really her idea to launch this in the first place. Yeah. I uh, met the artists, and uh, everybody's so happy to be here. It's good. It's wonderful. There's a wonderful feeling, and um, I'm good very weather. excited about it. The weather is perfect. Yes, and we have a wonderful cook, and and this is quite marvelous. It's quite a miracle. <laughs> yes. Can I interview the cook? Absolutely. Oh, of course. Hi. Yeah, so when she comes back, I have permission to interview the cook. Oh, no, but you don't have permission from the cook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please. Later. I hear, I hear you're a wonderful cook. What well, is your name? My name is Susan. <laughs> so what kind of uh, dishes are you going to offer? Um, I'm featuring food from the region. And so the entire two weeks is an art piece. And... Everything, the artists, it starts with Gabby, of course, and Toma, um, and the food as well. So it's featuring the, the fresh produce and meats and cheeses and artisanal breads from the area. And so just to showcase that and to provide the appropriate, appropriate food for what this amazing mm -hmm. location does provide. Yeah. So what about today? What they will have today, the artists? Today, they're going to have a... If you come over here. Yes. I'd rather you take this of the food, actually. It's much more photogenic than I. Okay, so they're going to have a green bean. Uh, these are green beans from the area. Um, and tomatoes. Um, for lunch, uh, like a stew is kind of eaten cold, almost like a salad. It's called lubi mm -hmm. in um, the Mediterranean. They'll have that with local sheep's feta or with pumpkin seeds if they don't want to have the, the dairy. Um, I just picked up some radishes. Um, there's apples from Kiblak, of course. There's breads from Pipolenka. So basically whatever is fresh and local. And then for dinner they're going to have chicken soup from Free Run chickens, Quebec chickens, and salads from lettuces, and um, there's fresh tomatoes, and yeah. So, so how can people thing? find you if they want? How can they find me? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, how can they find me? Susan Jessup. I'm Susan Jessup, so. Uh, they just Google you and find you. Probably, yeah. I'm, I'm Googleable. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll be around. Okay, Thank thanks. you so much. Okay. What is your name? Luan Bourdeau. Are you from around here? No, I'm from Quebec City. Oh, that's a nice place to come from. 
<laughs> and um, what are you working on? Well, right now I'm working with uh, these plastic sheets and do some embroidery so they go with the lights in the forest so you can see through mm -hmm. and also play with the lights on the plastic. So right now it's more like exploring but uh, we'll see where it's going. <laughs> Is this your medium or just here? Uh, well, I do some embroidery but usually it's with a uh, sewing machine so by hand like this it's more well here but I wanted to try like and your installation will be where? It's uh, number six, I think. The site? Well, it's in the forest, so near the bridge. And your partner? It's Gabby. Oh, <laughs> lucky. I yeah. am very excited to be working yes. with you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I'll be around and follow up Great. with your uh, project. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank okay. you. Erica Connor, um, you are from? I'm, uh, I'm from the Gatineau Hills. Mm -hmm. Oh, from around here. Yes. And uh, I see that you are... Uh, what are you doing with this? Well, uh, I, I'm making... Um, like, I make baskets and um, ropes and things from nature. So I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> so you're getting all these dry ones and... Yeah, uh, this is raspberry cane and it makes really good basket material. So my partner, she's not here. I've never met her and she's from Guelph and she's coming up on Tuesday, but I, I, I won't meet her until Thursday. So the two of us are kind of working, doing what we can. And um, yeah, so, and then we'll try to put it all together. <laughs> I will uh, follow you around and um, I'm sure you will do... Um, do you have a plan for the basket? How big or how, how many? Well, this is, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of just working on intuition. <laughs> I, I went to the site and I just felt it. Um, I sort of spent time in the site and tried to... I'm just... Whatever I find on the site, I'm, I'm using that and... I have something at home that I'm going to bring that takes longer time to make and um, I'm going to use that. So I'm sort of creating more things around it sort of thing. So um, this is what you do? You work with, you do baskets and uh, do you weave as well? No, I'm, I'm not a weaver. I'm, I mean, I'm weaving natural materials. I'm yes. not... Um, my grandmother, uh, she's, she was from Sweden, and she was a weaver with a loom, a big loom. And she tried to teach me how to do this, but I wasn't interested, really. And later, I started weaving on my own with, with natural materials, and I realized that that was from, from her, that I had gotten this idea of weaving, but not with traditional weaving more like well this is to me this is like going back to the, to the beginning yes. and and you see I, I've been a painter my life my whole life and I sort of I was never really that interested in I love painting but it wasn't it and when I started working with this materials and I also like to do um like uh, making glues, uh, making everything from nature as much as possible. Um, I'm interested in, in everything, finding food, um, medicine, and uh, like surviving, learning how more to survive in nature. And so I think that um, for me, it makes more sense to go right back to like, using this as this is art but it has a function it's not just um, the look of it. it it has some kind of function that for me I need that I need to have that sort of idea so when I started using this when I started making baskets that was my first thing that I started making baskets and uh, now I'm making more structures um, like uh, learning to thatch and um, um, you know, I, I want to build like a house, you know, I want to learn how to do all this stuff. Um, 
I'm also learning how to tan animal skins and um, I want to learn how to hunt. I mean, there's many things. So it's just the beginning for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm not, like, I don't, I know there's a lot of, a lot of artists here that are, you know, well-established professional weavers and, um, I Which think is you're nice. one of the few who does actually uh, baskets with like weaving natural fibers. Yes, natural. Well, there's another woman here who um, is using. She uses natural materials with, like for example, spinning um, with plants, which I thought was really interesting. So I'll meet her as well. Yeah. So I'll follow you around, and um, I'm sure you'll do great work. Thank well, you. if you come, yeah, thank you yeah, very much. I'm coming from Argentina. Uh, it's my first experience here. It's I found it's a really great place, and mm -hmm. uh, well, I have a good co uh, keeper, a good partner, Maureen, and we are starting our work. Amazing. So uh, I see that you already have a few pieces of wood here. Uh, well, those pieces we found them. And we are looking, we are talking about what are we going to do with them. We are not sure yet. So well, there's, there's some pieces of work here that we, we've done and we are sure. And we have a lot of time to go on working and to get sure. You'll be here until uh, the end uh, of August. Yes, uh, just for myself, just for the vernissage, I have to go back to Argentina. Where in Argentina? Away. I live in Buenos Aires, the capital. Beautiful, good beef over there. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you knew. Hi, Hi. I'm Maureen. Yes. Um, this is the first time that I've ever had a chance to work on any outdoor installation and it's really been um, quite an enjoyable experience. Um, we've tried to work with the idea of matrices um, and we have different pieces of either nest or circular like structures. Some of them we've been working with natural materials and other ones we've been working with um, synthetic materials. Um, and trying to work with things that are similar and things that are different because Marina is from Argentina so we have this north-south kind of dynamic going on um, but then we're similar in age so we always have the contrast and similarities. At least you're in the same be. axis. Yes, north, yeah, south. exactly. Yeah, yes, 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 that's exactly. right. So uh, there's uh, winter time, here is summer time and uh, there's a lot of difference but there are the there's yeah. a lot of uh, common things. Yes, and we collaborated a lot over the internet, uh, yeah. over Skype over the winter and threw ideas around. So we had some idea of how we were going to approach the whole project and we did bring a few pieces with us and they may fit in or they may not, but we're just actually having a great time just doing physical work, work. and just, yeah. <laughs> She's a very good girl. Well, you look great, I have to say, <laughs> gorgeous body here. So, and I, I do sense very good chemistry. Yeah, yeah. I think we were yes. definitely paired up very well. Yes. I know it was, it was all chance, but I think no, we definitely... we have a good chance with that. Yeah, we exactly. were lucky. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a relationship that will that will go on. Yeah, yeah. next time in Argentina. Yeah, so yeah. I have to go. Yeah, we um, so yeah. Right. I go to Argentina. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, so I'll come back later. I'll follow around with the project. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, <laughs> Diane. Hello. Lemia. We. Oui, You're a felt artist. Yes, I am. Yeah. And uh, it's so nice to see you again. Thank you. I I will meet in March mm. or April. At the conference, the arts conference. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So how have you been? Oh, I've been fine. It's been great. It's yeah, the you weather, look good. The weather has been really nice. Yeah. Hot. Hot, <laughs> yes. But and, very nice. Uh, you seem to be on a project here. Yes, we are. We've started. So we sort of, a couple of days, we kind of just, you know, uh, came here and uh, sort of meditated a bit. And we had different choices of where we wanted to work but we decided to use this big space here Amazing. so we're going to be working on this i see some wires over there yes that's a start yeah so that's a mix of fabric nightgowns and uh, fence wire and, and also electrical wires and basically the idea is going to have lots of it and a lot of wrapping and so it's going to be a large installation. Uh, yes, it should be. Yes. You also have a vernissage coming up. Yes, I have a vernissage called. Uh, it's at the Shackman Center, at the Trillium Gallery. Yes, I will be yes. there. Yes, and it's a 
it's a series of little coats that I've made that sort of represents uh, the settlers that settled in our area. And so there's like some, they give you an, an illusion of what they may have been wearing at that period of time, but they're kind of funny and they're little coats made with all kinds of recycled material. Um, so I have about 47 of them. And oh. they all represent different uh, culture. So there's native ones that are made with beads and some other ones that are made with, uh, well, you know, uh, just patterns and stuff like that. So you yeah. go back how far? How many? Since well, 1700s? Well, 1800. 1800. 1800s, that's when they Philemon Wright settled in the area. But then the immigration came, so therefore there was a lot of Scottish and Irish and native. But at that time they were fairly um, distinctive. You know, they were coming from all over the world. Well, not all over the world, but they were coming from different areas. So I tried to sort of group them in, in different culture. Amazing. I will be there and be the yeah. recorded. Yeah. And I will follow around. Yeah, thank your you. Work. Thank you. E.K. Jung. Hi, so you are from Korea? Yes. So, what area? Uh, I'm originally from Busan. And uh, you came a long way? Uh, yes, I'm currently teaching in the United States. So, I, I have, I guess, two different cultures that I, I have blended in my artwork. And what brings you here? Um, I have done a community tapestry projects in the rural area of Oklahoma and then I researched who else has done the community tapestry then Toma showed up with uh, you know many projects she's done in Canada and she was also helping the community tapestry project in UK too so I've learned about this center and everything, so that's how I applied for this uh, creative residency. And you paired up with uh, Diane Lemire, mm -hmm. and you're going to be doing a large installation. Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, this is slightly different than my usual work, because I usually artists are working in the studio all, all by oneself. This is an outdoor S correct. project. Correct and doing the collaboration with a different artist. I think this is very interesting learning experience for me. I have a lot to learn from Diane and the environment also teaches us how to approach this installation art too. Amazing, I will be around and uh, follow up. Thank you. L'idée ici c'était de travailler sur le thème matrice, donc avec, uh, donc avec ma partenaire, on a discuter un petit peu et eu envie de, de travailler dans le sens d'une comme une chaîne ADN en proposant des formes primaires ou des éléments primaires et ensuite de les composer ensemble et de proposer notre chaîne ADN qui ensuite peut se déployer comme quelque chose qui peut se transformer dans l'espace et dans le temps. Notre installation... C'est euh, où Alors on commence ici mais c'est vraiment le, 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 le commencement. Donc l'idée c'est de, de valoriser vraiment le lieu et euh, les installations qu'on propose sont particulières à ce lieu. Donc on a commencé par ramasser des, des graines, des fruits ici et, euh, voilà, et on les mixe avec des éléments qu'on a apportés. Mais... Qu Qu'est-ce que vous avez ici C'est oh, de l'eau. <rire> de l'eau pour boire, <rire> de la bonne eau. Voilà, donc euh, c'est donc notre idée directrice en fait, de, de travailler à la fois avec les éléments d'ici, avec nos apports à, à nous, et de, euh, et de proposer ce, ce chemin de, de combinaison et de, voilà, et, et de pouvoir déployer un peu le regard sur l'espace qu'on nous a octroyé. Est-ce que vous pouvez me montrer Oui. Merci. Voilà. Donc nous avons... Nous avons récolté ces fruits oui. que je trouve particulièrement intéressants par leur forme et euh, on les a découverts en se, en se promenant et donc on a eu envie euh, voilà, que les, 
de travailler déjà avec euh, ce, ce matériau qui est particulier à cet espace. Et puis ici, vous avez aussi les bouleaux. Il se trouve qu'en tapisserie, j'ai travaillé sur des bois de bouleaux. Donc c'est quelque chose qui m'inspire beaucoup. Et euh, voilà, donc on, on, on va valoriser aussi les bouleaux qui sont présents dans cet espace. Et euh, donc là, on est en recherche, on est en commencement d'installation. On a travaillé aussi avec des écorces. Donc on a quelque chose qui est plus loin avec okay. les écorces de, de l'arbre. Et vous êtes venue de la France Oui, je suis. Euh, J'habite en Dordogne, dans le sud-ouest de la France. Et votre nom Catherine Liebman. Catherine. Alors nous avons commencé par nettoyer en fait cet espace et organiser les branchages qui étaient morts. Oui. Et euh, voilà, donc ça c'est le début. Nous avons une, une corde et c'est le début de notre chaîne ADN. Donc c'est une corde qui a été fabriquée à partir de, de fils traditionnels et euh, des fils de recherche. L'idée c'est d'avoir à la fois des choses extrêmement sauvages et extrêmement sophistiquées qui se rencontrent. Voilà, oh, là, 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 notre, euh, la deuxième corde de, des Corses qu'on a commencé à travailler hier. Mm -hmm. voilà. C'est une corde naturelle Oui, 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 ce sont des écorces qui ont été enlevées il y a quelques jours sur les troncs du pont. Voilà, donc c'est le début de nos recherches. Oh, c'est très bon. Merci beaucoup. Hey. Hi. What's your name? My name is Asta, and uh, I'm from BC, working here with Catherine. Um, it's my first installation, and uh, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, Catherine, Catherine, she already showed mm -hmm. me some of the mm -hmm. work you're doing mm -hmm. here. Yeah. It's a big, big installation. It's a big installation, but what we've decided to do is we spent a day sort of looking at the place, watching the, the sunlight and developing our idea. We'll do, we think, one big piece with echoes of it at the beginning and throughout the space. Um, so our focus, we'll have a focus, but we'll also have many, many installations along the way. And... Um, We are seeing what we find with the, the land, the space, the material. And while we work with each other as well, it's a, a new meeting for us and it's a new meeting in this space. So we don't know what exactly. What is your medium? Well, I'm, I work with many things. So uh, right like now... Like a mixed media? Uh, textile, textile, textile mostly, but okay. I've been doing some of the more natural work with plant material, but also weaving and natural dyes, pigments. Um, so I'm, I'm fairly new, still developing my, my work. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a wonderful installation. Oh, I'll, I'll be around. Okay, thank you. Hi. Your name is? Uh, my name is Karina Bergmans. And you are from? I'm from Ottawa. Oh, Ottawa. And uh, you look uh, equipped <laughs> for yeah, we're, hard work. We're, we're setting up a site office here on the, on the the land at uh, Moon Rain and uh, we're we're citing some 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 of the environment and for our, for development. Would you like to show me what you're Sure, doing? sure, yeah. Okay. So we've so my partner uh, Susan isn't here today. She's um, she's off installing an exhibition. Oh. So uh, so I'm solo today and tomorrow. So I'm working on um, the the signage for the the site office. So that was, this was what I just did today, but yesterday's site office was more, was, I, I think we were, this was sort of like a trial, like a draft, yes. the site office. So I'm making it a little bit more formal today. Great. So the site office will be here? Yeah. Yeah. This is, we, it was a really nice, um, it's, a, it's really cool in here and we don't get too much sun only at noon, but then it's lunch. So we probably won't be here right at noon. Um, But it has really nice shadows and it also has a really beautiful mushroom. I see. <laughs> and uh, what do you know about mushrooms? I, I, don't, I, I don't actually know that much about mushrooms. I wish I knew more because um, they're so beautiful. And I saw some really cool ones up the hill 
that I think are the super poisonous ones. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I have to go take some pictures of them. I wish I knew more about mushrooms because I think some of them you can eat, obviously, but you don't want to go anywhere near them unless you absolutely know you're right. That's true. <laughs> And um, what is this, a blueprint? Oh, here? yeah, these are some charts, um, some plans we brought. Um, and also, it, the plans also make good scrap paper. So, um, yeah, we're, we're looking at, you know, um, uh, some engineering designs and, um, and really going by the book, I think. So we want, really want to make sure that this uh, landscape for the, for, for the future, the frames of the future, um, are, uh, are developed properly. And as an artist, what do you do? Um, I, I work as a textile artist, um, but I guess um, I do a lot of other things too, <laughs> <laughs> um, which are, which um, I think inform the, the textile practice. But um, yeah, I make sculptural pieces out of fabric and uh, a lot of them are organs with diseases and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's quite different from what this is here. <laughs> and for now, you're the construction engineer. Well, I'm I'm technically the um, the the day laborer, and Susan is the engineer. She's got the white hat, which is the engineer hat. Okay. So and uh, she's she's kind of the boss, really. So <laughs> today is kind of my day off, but don't tell her that. Um, but I I I did a lot of work already. I just um, did a bunch of weed whacking with the with Andre, um, and it was super fun. I've never done it, weed whacking before, and I'm covered in in uh, I grass. I was not safety conscious this morning and I didn't wear, I didn't know I was going to weed whack so I didn't have long pants and closed toed shoes so the safety, uh, the safety commissioner on the site is going to put a big X on my record but, oh, I don't but anyway so. I'm done and now I think I need to jump into the, uh, the, the stream to clean off and, uh, yeah. and then maybe it'll be lunchtime. Yeah, <laughs> very soon. Thank you so much. Okay, did you want to oh, the path? Get yeah, again? come, yeah, this sure. way. Show you a little bit what we're developing here. Um, this is our, uh, our string test. Sorry, my, uh, that's my, my drying rack too. Um, so we have, this is our test for what we're gonna be installing. And um, it's cotton thread, so we're just trying to see um, if there's any sag in it. And we've been taking notes and tests of it every day. So, so how long do you keep them like that? Well, we're going to keep this up until we need to start installing it. So we installed it at 23. And um, it's been going up and down a little bit. I think between the dew and the wind, maybe. Mm -hmm. We're just going to see how much sag it is, to, uh, which we may be able to accommodate when we install it. Great. So it's just on this way and this was what I just weed whacked I'm so proud but I still think I so need to. So you did this one? Yeah this one we just did um, but I'm gonna rake it too so it's a little bit tidier but it's coming along I think the trail takes some going over. So here's one of the sites and then I'll take you to the end here a little bit farther. So when you registered for this event, did you know what uh, you were going to do? No, not at all. I think I proposed something else. Um, and um, just once we were, once I was paired up with Susan, we had some Skype conversations and we were thinking about the theme and, um, and how we can sort of interpret it and what kind of material we want to use. So it's sort of been a development over, you know, maybe almost a year that mm -hmm. we've been in conversation. So it's really nice to finally be at the point where we're, creating something yes. so this was this will be two plots here and um, yeah it's a, it this gets some really nice shade in the afternoon so we'll have lots of uh, shady time to work in in this space here we've been trying to identify where the Sun is during the day so we're not always in the Sun and there's morning work and then there's afternoon work so so it looks like a big project um I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I guess it is a little bit, but it doesn't, I, I guess it depends what we're, what we're creating in the spaces, right? Mm -hmm. And you have time, you have time. Yeah, days. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, and I'm going away on Thursday to Saturday. Um, and then we'll, we have all next week together. So Great. I think it's actually nice that we, um, we have a bit of time in the space alone, just to sort of do our own thing and, and get our own ideas from, from where we're at. So Great, I'll be back then. I will yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. 
Christina Sade. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'm great. How are you? You look great. Oh, thank you. Like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't I... think so, but thank you. <laughs> um, what? Uh, what do you do here? Uh, what is your project? Well, I, you know, as you know, the project about preparing the artists here, you know about that. So I have a wonderful artist who is uh, from uh, Quebec, from Wakefield. And her okay, my partner is Lynn, and she and I, we are making, we have really wonderful spot. We are making like, um, like big construction, I would say, you know, like, She's like working on the horse right now. You see, you talk to her later. So she's the, uphill. Yeah, she's uphill, and she's uh, she's working on the horse that the horse will connect this side, which is also our side. And so this is all. Yeah, your I side. already made a path here with her yesterday, and the path will pe lead people to the horse up to the hill. So I already made the spider web here. So this is like part of the decoration. I have some masks I started to work that I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because I will it, come back anyway. Yeah, because you come back and you know yes. probably the story can change That's while true. we are doing. That's the beauty of this that you don't have to be really prepared for 100%. Because when you see the side, your idea will change a little bit when we start with the side. And you have to uh, feel the side somehow and be part of nature, be part of, part of the trees and weeds even and all insects around you. And somehow you can build everything, you know, like it will be natural. That's what I think. So yes. this is like the spider web. My, Old spider oh, you web. already did it. So I would, um, I brought this kind of uh, piece I wanted to discharge, but then I thought I can use it, and it was still alive to me. And I, I found a piece of heart that another artist made three years ago. So I attached there. So you know, the sp spirit is alive, and uh, I gave the life to the spider. So when did you start doing this? Um, I started on Saturday. And you'll be here until the end of August? Yes, I'm and going to leave only for two nights when I go for, to prepare for my vernissage. On the 25th? Yes, so I'm going Shanghai basically place. for two nights because that's, I have to pick up another artist from the airport who is coming for the exhibits, not for the installations. And uh, from there, are you going to cut everything down? or? No, no, see, the path goes here. We can walk there to, sure, if you would like. Yes. We can walk to Lynn and see what she's doing. Oh, Lynn Bedbrook? Yes. Oh, great. So, yes. Okay. So you did this path? Yes, and this is like, we are going to do like different thing here <laughs> okay. and here's my working space my ice room <laughs> yes my cave meditating cave and working it's it's nice in the shade yeah it will be nicer even I think if we so this is the path we wouldn't do it without help of Mr. Garrett, <laughs> Andre Garrett, he's uh, Claire Garrett's husband. Yes. He's such a wonderful friend for everybody. Helping with his little machine. And here we are. Nice. So this is the site this of your the installation. Site. Yes, this is a little bit kind of main. This is what you would see from the hill. Nice. Yeah. I see that you already have done a lot. Well, especially Lynn. <laughs> okay. 
So, <laughs> Lynn Bedbrook, how are you? I'm very well. I was you. just saying to uh, Christina here, women here look like teenagers. Oh, that's us. Yes, we're <laughs> regressing. We look like artists, I guess. I think we're just artists, yeah. Yes, but it's interesting how, how they maintain this um, uh, youthful, you know, demeanor. I think it's all of the attitude. Yes. Since we can't do much about the march of time. I think we just may as well enjoy. You live not far from here, right? That's right. I live in Wakefield. Yeah, and you have done a lot of work already. It sure feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> Although I must say, I feel like I haven't gotten there yet. I feel I've got an awful lot to do. And this is just the understructure. You know, we're not there yet. So what it is going to be? I know you're doing a spider web, or Christina is doing a spider web. Yes, we're building this whole web of the universe and, and what might be happening to it in the long run. You see on the way back my plastic bottles, like big plastic bottles filled with the plastic. Which we have the special story about that. Oh yes, and I will get the story. <laughs> the, you are uh, well known for recycling mm -hmm. material and turning it into art. Yes, and the same lid. That's what we're doing here. That's what the horse Inspired is by her, I decided I would just use this everything recycled mm -hmm. here too. So, that's we have recycled tomato cages and recycled piping from inside an old restaurant. And this is all reused uh, binder twine from hay bales, feeding the horses. So how do you cope with the bugs? It's uh, it's a challenge. Today seem they're very hungry today. I don't know what's <laughs> yeah. it's worse than worse than it has been at the moment. I have bug spray in my pocket, oh, but some too, it doesn't me. work really. You know, maybe it works on some, but it doesn't work. Don't buy great value. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's not the one. Well, I brought citronella oil. I should dig it out. We could yeah. have some of that. So um, I will be back um, and follow up with the good. project. Do come back. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, oh, good to see you. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go bless everybody that are working. Before I cut this beautiful dress and put it in my art piece. C'est ça. Je vais la couper. C'est bon? C'est bon? Je vais jamais travailler en art. Okay, so you guys go together. Diane. What is your name? My name is Claire Guerrier. I'm a fiber artist, mostly with felting. Mm -hmm. And I've been felting this like kind of a, it looks you a know, wool. organic form Yes. to work with. I'm still in a stage of incubation. I'm working in my tent because I need some water and I need some table for in my here. Plant. May I go in? Yes. Sure. So this and you're working with your husband? No, he's the, he yes. works with I'm the Andrea, I'm the Andy man, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I'm here to help the ladies with their sights, cutting the grass, uh, carrying the, uh, the, their instruments, their, their tools, and... Uh, You've done a lot already, I've seen that. Yes, 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 yes. there's been a lot of grass cutting. <laughs> you cleared also, lots of sights. Mm -hmm. Also, I, um, I help the cook occasionally. Cutting things, getting things prepared for the uh, for the lunches and dinners, and cleaning up, picking up the garbages, uh, all sorts of things. I'm here, and whatever they want me to do, I do. Wow! And I'm assuming you're the only man on site. Exactly. What a pressure! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, so, I was doing a thing over here. Yes. But I opened the door, it and it's all mixed. The wool all mixed up. But I'm only, only putting my wool like this because I will felt and I will get some transparency to make a wall Beautiful. on my work. How long would it take to make this? Um, probably today I'll be doing this. Probably today I'll be doing only this. Because after that I will have to wet and I will have to roll and I will have to make some pressure and I will have to shock with hot water and cold water, so it's a long process. Then it shrinks, and we never know what it will look like. Uh, 
this kind of work, not not. Uh, Do you also dye it, or it stays like this? No, I think it will be white. Everything will be white, organic. The the color of the sheep. Beautiful. It may change. I don't know. I'm still in the beginning, and I work. I always work with my uh, medium and my feelings. So I don't know. I'm I'm at the beginning, so I'll go by the the feeling, and the nature. You have a lot of supplies here, I see. Yes, I, I need everything to work, you know. This is my carter. So I can make some, uh, you know, put some fiber or something else. You know, I mix everything with that thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's And um, I have my bowler for my hot water. And I have this because with this I can work some... Uh, this is, I put it under and I can make some bubble, you know going to be a beautiful uh, installation yes and it's going to be here no or are you it's going not. to move it we're going to move it because of the water that's why I'm working here because that's true. when you do felt you need to transport the water so I have this little brouette over there I'm going to bring to this brouette was from my um, little son grandchild and everybody used the, the, the that thing since we arrived it's very practical Precious. Yes. Yes. I'll follow around and um, I will document everything. Okay. Thank you. Have a